On this episode of Delivering Marketing Joy, I talk with Dana Geiger about her new role at PPAI. Hey there, and welcome to another edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. I'm your host, Kirby Hossman, and joining me today is an industry rock star, Dana Geiger. She's the Regional Relationship Manager for PPAI. Dana, thanks so much for uh, joining me today. Thanks for having me, Kirby. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So one of the things I just want to dive right in, because you're into a new new role, really. Uh, You took the new position at PPAI that is the Regional Relationship Manager. So first of all, congratulations. Thank you. And second... Take a minute to tell us about this new role. What are you doing? Okay, so uh, that's a big question. I'm going to try and give a concise answer. So um, I like to refer to myself as the new Melissa because we all know Melissa Weber. Um, She had this role for, I think, 10 years before she moved to another department at PPAI. Um, So basically the fundamental role I'll be playing is, is being a conduit between PPAI and the regional community figuring out how we can support the regionals better from PPAI through affinity programs or resources or um, group buying, things of that nature. Hmm. Okay, cool. So you were, you know, you've made a transition here and you were a director of a regional. So how do you think that job has sort of helped you with this new role? Well, um, I feel so fortunate through, since 2010, I've worked for three different regionals. So not only have I worked for the regional community, I've gotten to taste the different cultures from each regional. And I wouldn't have believed it until I worked for each community that there really is a different culture and feel, a tone and tenor that's set by the membership. So, um, of course, tactically, I sat in this chair for eight years or 10 years. um, And so I know what I would have needed throughout the years and what I think PPAI could have provided me with. So I think sitting in this chair um, aligns me to know um, how to communicate with the people in the regionals. Um, but it also has given me some tremendous relationships throughout the industry, which I know will um, help in this new role because I'm a big believer in the good ideas come from outside the office. Um, yeah. And I plan to call on those relationships, those those big brains to help me figure out what would work. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I, as I thought about it, I mean, it just makes sense, right? I mean, essentially, if I understand correctly, your new role is to help the people who were in your old role. So I would think that transition would go pretty well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the that's the start of it. The rest is to figure out how the regional community and the PPI community can work a little bit more cohesively to kind of elevate the initiatives that we should all be focusing on nationally. And, of course, that includes advocacy, uh Promotional Products Work Week. Um, we do all those things, but how can we do them better? Right. No, that makes total sense. So I know it's still new. This is a brand new role for you. It's just been a few weeks, right? Um, yeah. So, but what are you most looking forward to in the new role and why? Um, well, what I love about this is when it was brought to me by uh, Carol and by Paul is um, they're really open to change and that's not always the case. So um, I'm given the roadmap, which is already a tremendous starting point, but they're also willing to listen to crazy ideas that I have and figure out if they have merit. So um, I know from sitting in this chair, there have been many times where I thought, Gosh, I wish I could get PPI to do this. And it's not that I did. I just never asked because I'm busy or whatever. So now I think I can take time to kind of explore some of those wish lists yeah. um, and, and, and maybe chart a whole different scenario for how we work together. Yeah, that makes makes a ton of sense. Like I say, I, I keep coming back to the idea that because you've sat in the seat, you sat in the transition. And again, because well, with the mo- utmost respect for Melissa, right? Because she's done a great job too. So I just think that's going to be an interesting transition. So, all right, well, cool. So you've, you've blown through my three questions. I give everybody a chance to ask me a question. Do you have one for me? Just one. (laughs) No, you can, I tell you what, you can ask me more than one if you want. Uh, (laughs) So I know that you are an advocate of the regional community. You're a member of a couple different regionals, but your home regionals, OPA. Mm -hmm. And so 
um, as I sit in this new chair, I would I want to know from the members of the regionals, have you ever sat back when, and gone, wow, if OPA could do this, that would really make a difference for my business? Mm. Yeah, it's so funny. Um, it, and just so we're clear, I mean, obviously we're a member of VAPA and we're a member of OPA, and I've been... I've been an advocate, as you said, because I felt like b both organizations have helped, like uh, just from a brain source, from a, you know, they've, they've created events that allowed me to connect not only with the OPA group, but then the people in OPA. For me, that was uh, really valuable to me. And so I want to be really uh, upfront about that on the front end, because I got, I felt like for a long time I was on an island and then all of a sudden I got a part of these organizations I'm like, oh, okay, there are people who think like me. So... Oh, <laughs> the, the challenge I'd say is um, that I, there are probably ideas that are going on around the country I don't know about. But there, here's a, just a couple quick ones off the top of my head, I guess, as things that I think would be interesting. So um, I, I've seen a lot of success where people use private Facebook groups to um, to create different ideas. And so like you got your promotional products professionals page, which is great, but if you could take that down into a regional, maybe people would feel more safe uh, sharing products, maybe, you know, because, you know, the, the bigger sometimes it's a little bit intimidating. Sure. The, the other thing I would say is, and I think you actually alluded to it when you were talking earlier, is some sort of buying group idea from around a regional, I think would be super interesting. Now, the one thing I would like kind of give a caveat to is I think that you ought to base that around creating a level of education. So you don't get all of the rewards of say an EQP until you have actually gone through a level of education so that you know how to deal with that. So you're not just going on price. Um, but then that would be, another service that the regional would provide because it's education and it's stair steps up to um, essentially rewards at the end of that. And I think it, ra you know, it's one of those things where the water raises all boats. And so yeah. those are just a couple things off the top of my head. And I would think that a um, Facebook group and this, you guys might already be doing, but with just the regional directors where you're sharing ideas, I just think that those are anytime there's more transparency in that way, I think that would be good. Awesome. I love those ideas. And, and this is just, it, it speaks to the premise that I believe that all good ideas come outside of the office. And so, um, you know, that's, that's awesome. Oh, Thank cool. you for that. No, oh, yeah. Well, I'll keep thinking on it. Hopefully, I can come up with something. You. <laughs> well, Dana, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time. We'll have to do it again, okay? Thank you so much, Kirby. Appreciate okay. you. Yeah, absolutely. So that wraps up this edition of Delivering Marketing Joy. We'll see you next time.